pause whatever you're doing and let's dive into Godot. So I have my scene here that I want to pause. So let's select the root node and add a new node. I'm gonna add a control node and I'm gonna hit the anchor preset and I'm gonna make it full worked. And as a child, I'm gonna add a VBox container and create. I'm gonna anchor this to the center and then I'm gonna hold Alt and drag out the corner point to make it something like this. And as a child of the VBox container, I'll add a button. And this button will say resume and I'll duplicate the button three times and the second one will say restart and the last one will say quit and then I also want a label in here so I'm gonna add label and it will be on the top and this will say paused like that and I'm gonna change the horizontal alignment to center and then the paused label I'm gonna change the font color and font size so I'm gonna search for font and on theme overrides I'm gonna make this size I think 75 looks pretty good and on colors I'm gonna change the font color to a dark orange and I'm gonna change the font to a custom font I have I'm gonna drag it into the font and now it looks a little bit better and then for the buttons I'm gonna double click on them and rename them this will be the resume button this will be the restart button and then the quit button I'm gonna select the resume button and I'm gonna hold shift and click on the quit button to select all of them. And I'm gonna go to the theme overrides and on the font size. I can change the size and it will change for all of them. I think something like 50 looks pretty good. And I want a little bit more space between them. So I'm gonna select the VBox container and I'm gonna go to the theme overrides and constraints. And I'm gonna give it a little bit more constraint. I think 20 looks pretty good. I'm gonna save the scene now. I'm also gonna rename the label to just past label and I'm gonna rename the control node to pass menu and then I'm gonna hit the attach a new script to the pass menu and it's gonna get the name pass menu. I'm gonna hit create and I'm gonna remove the functions in here and I'm gonna make a new function and this will be a built-in function and it's the input function and this will know all the inputs that you make and the one I want to look for is the escape. And there's a built-in event for that. So I can just do if the event dot is action pressed. And then I want the UI, let's see, UI cancel and then colon. And if the action is pressed, UI cancel, I want to call a function. And I'm going to call it something like pause and unpause and then parentheses. And I want to just show the UI cancel input really quick. So I'm going to go into project and project settings. And then on the input map, it will look something like this for you. And many other tutorials made a new input. I don't know why, since there's a built-in one. If you click on the show built-in actions, you can scroll down until you find the UI cancel. I'm going to search for it instead. And you can see that escape is already connected to it. So I'm going to hit close. And let's make this function. So I'm going to copy the pause and unpause stuff that I typed. And I'm going to say func. And then I'm going to paste this. And colon. And I want this function to function as a toggle. So I'm going to make a new variable and let's call it pass underscore toggle. And I'm going to make it false. And then each time this function gets called, I'm going to make the pass toggle equal the opposite of pass toggle. So each time this gets called, it will be made the opposite of this. So if it's true, it will be made false. And if it's false, it will be made true. And then we can just get the tree and we can do dot past and we can make this equal to the past toggle. And then I will also make the visibility of the past menu equal to the past toggle. And since this script is attached to the past menu, I can just do self dot visible equal the past toggle. When we pause the game, most things will get paused and that's controlled from the process in the inspector. And if it's set to inherit, it will inherit from its parent. So its parent is the node 3D here, but I don't want it to inherit from the parent. So I'm going to set it to always. This is really important. And let's also make a ready function. Funk ready. And I'm also going to make the self visible equals false in the ready. So I can see it here, but when I play the game, it won't be visible. So I'm going to play the game now. And if I hit escape on my keyboard, it pauses the game and if I hit escape again it unpauses. My mouse is currently captured from the player so I'm gonna exit out and I'm gonna go to the player script and inside of here I have a 
set mouse mode input captured. I'm gonna copy this, go back to the pass menu. And what we can do then is we can check if the pass toggle is true and we can paste what we copied. And instead of captured, let's see what exists. So mouse underscore mode, and let's see captured, confirmed, hidden. I think we want visible and else, which is if it's false, then we want it to be captured again. So I'm going to try it out one more time and play it. I'm going to pause the game and now we can move the mouse around. I can resume, restart and quit. Those actually don't do anything right now. So let's quickly hook them up. So I'm going to close the game. I'm going to select the resume button, go to the node and on signals. I'm going to connect the pressed signal. So I'm going to double click on it and hit connect. And it actually connected to the wrong script here. So I'm going to actually right click on it and disconnect it. And I'm going to try again. So I'm going to double click on the pressed signal and I want to select the right node with the right script attached to it, which is the pause menu. And then I'm going to hit connect and I'm going to do the same for the reset button, the pause menu and the same for the quit button. And now I have all of these. So let's start with the quit button. That's a really easy one. You just do get tree dot quit. And that's all you have to do for the quit button. And for the resume button, we can just call the pause and unpause function. So I'm going to paste it in here. And for the restart button, we get the tree. And then I think it is restart maybe, uh, or maybe it's reload. Reload current scene, yeah. And now I can try it out one more time. I'm gonna run the game, I'm gonna pause the game, and I can resume it. Let's say I move over here, then I pause it, and I restart it, and it did restart. And when we restart the game, the game is still paused. So before we reload the scene, we can just call the function pause and unpause before we reload it, and that should unpause it and then reload the scene. So I'm gonna try that out. Move a little bit over here, pause it and restart it. And now it's working again. Then I didn't try the quit button yet. So if I hit the quit button, it should close the game. And so it did. And one thing I would actually recommend is to not have it inside of your level. So one thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to select the pause menu and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to delete it from this scene and go into the player scene. And I'm just going to paste it as a child of the player. And now it should work in any scene. So if I play the game again and it will work in any scene. So you don't have to have it in every scene. Thanks for watching and special thanks to my members. For source code, custom videos or coaching, check out my Ko-Fi and I'll see you in the next one.